Hey everyone, I want to do this quick review on the video camera that I've been using to make all my videos with. Um, this is the Samsung um, HMX F90. Now, I've had this for about two and a half months. I bought it at Best Buy on sale. It was like $150 on sale, and then I spent uh, another $13 to get a um, memory card for it. So, with that in tax, $177. So, which I didn't think was too bad. And um, this is the first video camera I've ever had, so I really don't have anything to compare it to, but it seems to be pretty good to me so far. Um, you know, it's high definition, has a 52 power zoom. Um, let's see, what are the other features? Uh, one thing I thought was kind of cool is it has a pause feature, so if you you don't have to splice your video segments together with that, but the only thing is it only stays paused for five minutes and then it shuts off, so really doesn't turn out to be that big of a deal there because it, a lot of times if I'm shooting a video and I'm changing scenes, then it shuts off and I'm still going to have to splice my video and edit it and all that stuff anyway, so that's not really a big, big feature there. Um, now, it, the software that you use to upload it to the computer, it, it's it's right inside the camera. So you, the first time you plug that in, you uh, I don't know, you go through the menu and just download that to the computer, and that's that seems to be something that's pretty easy to use. I mean, I'm not very good at figuring this uh, technology stuff out, and I you know I managed to get it figured out, so seems pretty good there. Um, and mainly I just run this thing on the automatic setting. Um, the only button that I probably use to change the setting uh, is the lighting sometimes. And it's like a backlight setting. I'll turn it on right now. And you can see it kind of lightens it up. I use that when I'm filming in the house quite a bit. Um, when I first started a couple times I forgot to turn that off when I went outside and I my videos were a little bright and overexposed but you know that's part of learning this stuff <laughs> learn something new with every video I make turn that back off again might be a little bright in here right now okay so you know um, one of the things that can be a problem with this is background noise, like when you're outside in the house, it's fine. So um, I think I will just take this outside and um, show you guys how it is outside real quick. All right, I'll pause it and bring you back when I'm out there. All right, I'm out in front of my house right now, and you can probably hear that truck going by. Um, that's one of the kind of annoying things about this is all the background noises it picks up. You know, the planes, trains, automobiles, birds, dogs, cats, guys doing their weed eating, all that stuff in the background, it picks up really bad. So you can't use an external microphone with this. Um, if I was buying another camera, I would probably think about um, buying one that you can you know, use a clip-on microphone with, just uh, so you could hear me better. That's, you know, I guess a lot of video cameras pick up the background noise, and it'll pick up the wind, a lot of that stuff. It can be pretty annoying if you're trying to, you know, shoot something outside and you have all these background noises all the time. So, uh, but like I said, that's probably gonna happen with a lot of different cameras. Um, you know, besides that, it seems to be a pretty good camera. It's pretty easy to use. Um, I think the, the picture quality is pretty good. Sound quality is pretty good, except for the background noises like that. So, um, let me go back in the house and finish this up where it won't be so much noise. 
So like I said, I use this camera to shoot all my YouTube videos, except for the very first one I did. The very first one I just used my little Instamatic camera just to see if I could get the whole YouTube thing figured out. Um, problem with like a, like a snapshot camera is you can't see where you're at in the viewfinder. With this, the viewfinder turns over so when you're standing in front of it like I am, I can see right where I'm at. Um, so that's one of the good advantages of having a, a video camera over just a, you know, an Instamatic. So overall, I, I like this camera pretty well. I think I've done about, I don't know, 75 or so YouTube videos now. So if you want to check any of those out just to see, you know, how the quality is on some of my other videos, you know, feel free to do that. Um, I guess that's about it. Thanks for watching my review, you guys, and I'll talk to you next time.